Hey guys, my name is Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over seven days of hair. I wash my hair about every six to seven days, so once a week basically. And I'm just going to go over how I style it as it gets dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. Um, so today, this is my clean hair. I just washed it last night. So it is nice and clean and a little um, weird. So, wow, let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is spray some heat protectant all over your hair, which I actually already did off camera, um, so sorry. But you're just going to spray some heat protectant, or I spray heat protectant, and then I'm just going to give my hair a really good curl. If you want to see how I curl my hair, I have a video of how you can curl your hair. I've already put up a video for Beachy Waves, so this should be super quick part. Alright, so that's it for this. I actually don't really like to put product in my hair when my hair's super clean because I'm going to go so long without um, washing it, so it's going to just get dirty as it goes, and if I need to put any texturizing product later on, I will, but usually this first day of hair, I just wear it all down and curly, and it's clean, and I don't put a ton of product in it and then just let it be soft and whatnot. So that's it. Alright, so this is my second day hair. This is how the curls go. So I'm just going to my hair a little bit. A rope braid is just like you take two hands hair two strands of hair and I'm gonna twist it towards the right. And then I'm going to wrap it around each other, going to the left. So I'm going to keep doing that, is just twisting it towards the right and wrapping it, wrapping the two strands towards the left. And then once I get that done, I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so it looks a little bigger. And then I'm just going to bobby pin it right behind my ear. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, except I'm going to take the two strands and I'm going to twist them towards the left and wrap them towards the right. So same thing, but doing the opposite, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm just going to spray a little waist splash because I feel like the curl has deflated. See, so that's really it. Um, just a simple rope braid. You can do whatever braid. I don't know. But on the second day, I like to do, I like to still keep it mainly down with just a little accent something. So the first day is all down and I just like fluff, fluff, fluff it around and just like flip it all day long. And then second day, I like to do something that I'm not going to touch my hair as much. So I typically will tuck it too. So it doesn't look terrible tucked. It doesn't look cute tucked, but whatever. Um, it's just what happens when you're having a long day. So, I wonder what we're going to do tomorrow. So today, we're, this is three day hair, and I'm going to do a little bun. So I'm just going to take a comb and kind of split my hair down the middle, and then for one section, I'm just going to tie it off with an elastic at the crown of my head, and the other section, same thing, just tie it off with an elastic. So I have two little ponytails at the crown of my head. Then I'm literally going to tie it in a knot and pin it in place. So that's all it is. Just everyone knows how to tie a knot. You just take that one strand of hair and you tie it in a knot like that. And then you kind of hold it there with your hand and then you take your bobby pin and you pin it in place. Well, that's it for day three. So today is four day hair and that means it's great getting greasy, so I need to put some dry shampoo in. So I'm just going to spray with some Redken Pillow Proof Dry Shampoo, and then I'm going to tease the crown and spray that with a little Redken Quick Tease Spray, and then just kind of perfect the tease and make sure it looks good. And then we're going to do a Dutch um, Dutch braid. So it's just going to be kind of like a half crown braid, and I am just going to take the left strand, pick up hair, bring it under the middle, Right strand, pick up hair, bring it under the middle. Left strand, pick up hair, bring it under the middle. So you kind of get the gist. I have a video that I will link that I've already done over a Dutch braid. And you are just going to continue to pick up hair all the way around your head. 
but you're going to leave the bottom half out. So when you pick up hair from the bottom strand, just make sure you're picking up a little bit so it's still attached to your head. And it's really important that you change your hand placement when you, when you get to each side of your head, just what's most comfortable for you. When I get on this side of my head though, some of my hairs start to fall out or they just are too short to continue to braid. So just make sure that you pin as you go so that those hairs are in place and it doesn't all fall out. And then you're just gonna continue to pick up hair until you are on like where you reach, where you started the braid. Then you will just continue to braid down without picking up extra hair. I'm gonna use a bobby pin to pin it in place for a little bit. And then you're gonna go around your whole head and just pull out the braid. And you're going to pin any wonky hairs or pin any hairs that are sticking out or that are too big or whatnot. So you're just gonna pin as you go. So pull out and then pin and just making sure it looks really good and kind of perfecting the braid. And then you're gonna take that bobby pin and just pin it underneath the braid, just like that. And voila, you have a half crown braid. And I'm going to touch up my curls just a little bit because I'm going on a date. So usually I would just leave my hair as is and just work with it, but I am going to touch them up a little bit. Okay, so that's it for the fourth day hair. You can't really tell that it's that great. Hey, hey guys, so today is the fifth day of dirty hair and I don't have work. I don't have anything today, so I'm teasing my hair a little bit, and then I'm just going to do a classic messy bun. Alright, so that's it. I hope you liked it. Alright, so this is my sixth day hair. I actually already did a video on how to do this, so I will just link that below. And so I didn't feel like I needed to film me doing it again. So yeah. Alright guys, so this is my final hair day. It has been seven days. Why I went this long? I don't know. I just like I just go a long time without washing my hair. So, um, sorry about yesterday's video. I didn't film in the morning, and then when I got home late at night, I just decided to film it just so you would see. But it is the it is a tutorial. It is literally the same thing I, I already filmed. So you can do dry shampoo, whatever. Um, anyways, so my hair is really dry on the ends and really greasy. So we'll see here what we're gonna do I am just gonna put a cute little hat on you can do this hat or you can do like one of those cute uh, bigger hats I'm gonna talk about like the, the fashionista ones and then uh, I'm gonna use two rubber bands just split my hair wherever and I'm gonna do two wool buns final look so I hope y'all liked it that's the end for the video I'm going to wash my hair tonight so some of you might be like oh that is disgusting well obviously you probably wash your hair every day but everyone's everyone's been there that they just keep prolonging not washing their hair and especially if you have like fashion colors or a color you don't want to fade um, like, I don't like to wash my hair a lot because it makes my toner fade more quickly. And so, the less I wash it, the longer my color, my toner lasts. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people go this long without washing. I don't have to, but you can make do. So, I hope this helped for your greasy days. You can take any of those stages. Maybe your day two is my day six. Or maybe your day three is, is my day seven. So you can just pick and choose and kind of have fun and help so that you can be cute with dirty hair. So 
That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.